Hey everyone, so as you can see behind me, we have our hoop house with the skin back on it. I'll just show you here real quickly. It's actually a little loose up here, so we're going to redo that and pull it a little tighter. Uh, but we're just thankful to have the skin back on. We had to put this, um, we had to put this uh, whole pearl in back on, I guess that's what you call it, the, along the whole edge here. And, and then put the wiggle wire on it. And I think we had to get a few replacement ones because some of them were just so bent up that it, it wouldn't even work. And then this whole bar along here that we roll up the side with, that was all bent up. So we had to get new pieces for that. Anyways, we have it put back together, put back on here. And like I promised you in the email, I'm gonna share with you uh, what we are doing to try and make sure this never happens again where it gets completely ripped off like that. So <clears throat> we were talking and sharing about it with my brother-in-law, Luke, and he lives in Oklahoma where there's a ton of wind. And he said what he does is he puts metal straps like completely around the um, purlin on the edge here and the bow itself. So what I ended up doing is I went and um, bought these. They're actually like a hose clamp. Um, you cinch them down tight, real tight with a, um, you just use a little ratchet gun and um, just wrap it around the whole um, truss here, I guess you call it and the purlin around the edge here. And so hopefully that's gonna add an extra layer of protection. So, you know, we've got our, um, our, our piece here that it's actually screwed into. And we screwed it in from this side, we screwed it in from the back, and then we added this around it. So hopefully that is going to add an extra layer of protection. And tell you what, Coming up in my next video, I'm going to be sharing with you, we have just had a bumper crop of strawberries. Look at these beautiful, beautiful strawberries. Uh, we have harvested so many pounds of strawberries. We've been preserving them. We've been freezing them. So stay tuned because next time I'm going to share with you, I'll get my dad to share with you actually some of the secrets that we've used for growing this bumper crop of strawberries. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe and um, hit the little bell icon or subscribe to our email so you make sure that you get the update and we'll share about our strawberries next time.